what's going on today we're talking about cookies we're going to explain how they work and we will go over the security threats associated with the use of cookies and how to uh, implement the security best practices uh, we're going to use an example from try hack me advent of cyber uh, we will demonstrate a scenario where we will be manipulating the value of cookies to gain admin access so First, let's understand how cookies work. As you can see, cookies are used for a variety of purposes. First, they are used for identifying users. So you don't have to sign in every time uh, to the your preferred website. If you wanna go to the website, right, you are identified by the cookie, so you don't have to sign in every time. Notably, if you clear the browser cookies, you will need to sign in again because the cookies that identify you or that they, that they were used to identify you as a user are anymore on your browser and that's why you need to sign in again now if you don't log out from the uh, website or don't clear browser cookies the cookies will be stored on your computer to identify you as the user of that website another use case of cookies is the permissions so cookies hold information about your permissions on the specified website if you are an admin if you are a user if you are an editor all of these details can be found or can be assigned in the cookies. Now, cookies can also be used to store information about your preferences. An example would be uh, your preference of how the website look when you first sign in. An example of the an example is your preference uh, when using the dark theme or light theme of Twitter. If you prefer the dark theme or whether you prefer the light theme, all of that will be stored in the cookies on your browser. The cookies are generated from the server or server side and stored in your browser. They're exchanged either with HTTP or HTTPS. Also, although preferably uh, HTTPS for the security issue. Now, cookies have name and have value. So basically, the values, the security threats lie in the value. So if values are changed or stolen, okay, what the person can do with the cookie? They are able to change the cookie, okay, or to steal it, all right? What they can do, they can hack the account associated with that cookie, or they can hack the website. Of course, if the cookie is associated with an admin account. Now, of course, some cookies are encoded, encrypted, so your ability to change the cookie or steal the cookie relies on the security measures implemented in the backend. What are some of the security measures? The HTTP only flag, that's one. The HTTP only flag is a flag you can set at the server side. Notably, you can set the flag in a file called, if you uh, on the server, there's a file called, most of the time, if your server is built with PHP, there's a file called sessions or session.php. This file, you can set the HTTP only flag and you can set the secure flag to, and you can set the path. So now, what is the secure flag, by the way? The secure flag is a flag that if set by you as a developer on the back end it will prevent the display of the cookie value over the http it will only be done over https and encrypted and http only it will disable the uh, cookie from being returned uh, if someone tried to test cross-site scripting on your browser on your uh, server the HTTP only flag will disable the return of the cookie value to the scripts. And the path will disable the ability of modifying the cookie outside of the specified path. All right, so having that in mind, let's have an example, okay, to demonstrate how <coughs> changing the value of cookie, okay, will lead to account compromise, okay? So, we have an example here. So, 
In the example, we can see we are logged in um, as a user and the, as you can see here, some stuff about, it's actually about uh, Christmas Control Center, uh, example from Toy Hack Me. Okay, now after you register, you try to access or see the value of your cookies by clicking F12 and going to storage cookies on the left. And here you can see the name, name is auth and the value is here. As you can see, the value is hexadecimal. <coughs> so you can take the value here and try to decode the cookie. All right, I'm gonna switch to another browser. So this is the, uh, you know. Okay, so hexadecimal to text. As you can see, this is the plain text value. And the plain text value contains information about the company and the username. So my username here is Motosim. And this is one also security mistake or security misconfiguration, which is revealing sensitive information about the user in the cookie in plain text. That's also a security malpractice we have to avoid. Um, so as you can see, this is the username and this is the company. Now, what we can do here, we can get back and change this or copy that, change this one to, let's say, in this case, in the scenario, we have the admin username is Santa. So Santa is the admin, hex numbers to text, hex numbers to hex. So we take this and we get back. So we go to the cookie editor, click on auth, paste the cookie value we have just copied and make sure the parameters are correct. Click on save, refresh the page. See now the, the panel has changed. If we enable this and you get the flag, the final, the final flag. So it's not about the flag, of course, it's about uh, how we, we were able to change the cookie to gain admin access. So technically, if this website has HTTPS and if the cookie was encrypted with another form other than the hexadecimal, of course, if it is if the website has implemented HTTPS, it would have been or the cookie would have been encrypted, so uh, uh, we wouldn't be able to decrypt the cookie and change it. That is the uh, difference. So that is for this. I, by the way, let's um, get back and answer the questions. So here, Santa's cookie, okay, the flag, not correct. Okay, seems like we have to cancel the spaces. Still incorrect. Oh, we have the Hakati's. Okay, let me do this. Okay. All right. So that was about day. So I hope you liked that and see you in the next video.